Hello from AI Sciences and welcome to OCAMS Razor, explained for beginners. I'm your instructor, Kashif Murtaza. In this video, we are going to uh, look at OCAMS Razor. That's a principle uh, that is applied in several fields, uh, including science, engineering, philosophy, religion, several fields. Um, it has very beautiful applications and consequences, particularly in data science and machine learning. We will uh, look into those as well. And in particular, we will define the two terms, or we will try to define the two terms. One term is simple, and the other terms, other term is better. These two terms are roughly is the crux of uh, OCAMS Razor. So let's dive in and see <clears throat> the uh, statement because OCAMS Razor uh, appears in several different kind of statements. All they tend to reflect the same meaning. Let's see one of the statements um, or the principle that OCAMS Razor uh, is reflected with. So uh, OCAMS Razor, all things, um, all things being equal, the simplest solution tends to be the best one. So that's one statement of uh, OCAMS Razor by William Ockham. Um, although uh, the the famousness or uh, the popularity of this OCAMS Razor is due to OCAMS Razor, uh, due to William OCAM. But um, this uh, this particular statement uh, can be traced back to Aristotle, um, where um, the 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 statement looks like um, uh, the if if something if a theory can be explained by fewest assumptions, taking fewest assumptions. Um, that is more explanatory or uh, kind of should be the choice. In other words, uh, let's say we have two theories. Let's say theory one and let's say theory two, let's say. And both, both theories, theory one and theory two, may be developed in uh, completely different ways. Let's say both, the both two theories tend to give the same meaning. Let's say, tend to give the same meaning. Let's say theory one, for its development, uh, take uh, into account a lot of assumptions. Assumption one, assumption two, dot, 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 several assumptions, let's say assumption n. There are several assumptions. Let's say theory two in a completely different independent way. Let's, uh, let's say theory two takes different assumptions, b1, b2, b, k. If n is smaller than k, which means if theory one is explained by taking fewer assumptions as compared to theory two, then uh, Occam's razor, and, and, and theory one and theory two both reflect the same meaning, both are consequently the same. Then Occam's razor, uh, the principle suggests that, um, I mean, choose theory one that's more, uh, that's probably more correct or in this particular case, it's the best one. The other, um, the other kind of variants of the principle is that the simplest explanation is, is better. So um, one way or the other, Occam's razor says, um, choose the simplest one whenever there is a choice. Um, if, if there are several things um, and all of them, they are, are offering, offering something the same, then pick the one that is the best, uh, that, is the, that is the simplest. Uh, among all. Let's see uh, the, the very uh, kind, kind of concrete consequences of OCAMS Razor in, in machine learning. So uh, like I said earlier, OCAMS Razor, the crux of the OCAM, OCAMS Razor is simpler, is better. In the upcoming slides, we will explain what do we mean by simple and what do we mean by better uh, in, in the context of machine learning. So here, just understand, let's say uh, we have two hypotheses, or a hypo you, can, you can rephrase this hypothesis by a model, machine learning model, let's say a regression model or a classification model, um, or any, any kind of model, a machine learning model, let me call, or you can call it a hypothesis or a model. Let's say um, your goal or the learning algorithm's goal is to go from some point A to some point B. Here, this is again A and B. Let's say a hypothesis uh, or model 
H1, this is H1 that actually leads from A to B using this particular route, this particular route, and now you reach B. And let's say you have another hypothesis or model H2 that again does the same thing. It has the same source and the same destination, but it takes a different kind of route uh, to reach B. Then among these two, this seems much more simple. And according to OCAM's principle, if um, your source is the same, your destination is the same, uh, and you have two kind of models, uh, and both are achieving the same kind of uh, same kind of goal. Then pick the one among the two which is which is more simple. So when faced with two equally good models, always choose the simpler. Here um, we need to define what do we mean by simple uh, concretely, and we and we need to define what do we mean by better. Um, uh, in, in more concrete terms, particularly in, in machine learning. So let's define simple. Simple in machine learning uh, means that your model, whatever, whether it's a regression model, classification model, um, it's an it's a unsupervised model, learning model, or reinforcement learning model, whatever your model is, simple model in machine learning means um, <clears throat> what kind of variations, uh, what kind of variations uh, it can capture. The other way is to define that is the hypothesis or the model space it create, how big that space is. For example, let's say we have a model y hat is equal to, let's say w1 x plus w2, let's say. Assume here that um, this w1 this x is our feature, and this is the prediction from the model. And the parameters of the model, these are, let's say, the parameters of the model, w1 and w2. If you, if you focus on the parameter space, the total parameters are just uh, w1 and w2, which means these are the parameters, w1 and w2. These are two parameters. and Varying W1 and W2, you can get, so for each pair, W1 and W2 is one kind of hypothesis um, following the same kind of pattern. So that defines in general a hypothesis space or a model class. And each instance, each object in the class is, uh, is one kind of pair of W1 and W2. Now you can think of how many W1 and W2 pairs are there. So if this, uh, the size of your hypothesis space or model class is too big, then we will say the, the model or hypothesis is not simple. If the size of hypothesis space that this model class is offering is uh, relatively small, then we will say that this model is simple. For example, consider another model, which is w1x plus w2x squared plus w3x cubed plus w4. Here, uh, the hypothesis space is way bigger than, way bigger, the total number of patterns that this particular model or hypothesis can capture is way bigger than this particular model class. So we say, uh, if we compare this one and that one, these among these two, between these two, um, this right-hand side model, this particular model is simpler and this is less simpler or complicated if we are just comparing these two. Here I want to mention that um, the complexity of hypothesis space can be defined more technically in terms of VC dimensions in machine learning, uh, which roughly states, uh, again I'm saying roughly, which roughly states that the dimensions of a, a, hypo, a, a hypothesis space is simply the number of parameters. That's the rough kind of definition. Number of parameters and the degree of freedom of each parameter. So these two things define the VC dimensions of any hypothesis space. And that is one measure of defining the simplicity or complexity of any hypothesis space. So if you have defined a model, then uh, in 
staying in that regime, how many different kind of models you can create, um, which tends to define how different, how ma how many different kind of variations the model class can capture, and that defines how simple your model class or your hypothesis is. So if you have some uh, target function to achieve, maybe a supervised learning uh, paradigm, you have some training set and <clears throat> you use a learning algorithm uh, to train a particular hypothesis out of a hypothesis space, then how bigger this hypothesis space is uh, defines the complexity of, of the hypothesis you have chosen. Now let, next, let's uh, focus on what do we mean by better. If you remember earlier, we talk about simpler is better. We have defined simpler. Simpler means the simplicity of the model or the number of parameters of the model. Uh, what do we mean by better? So let's focus on better. Better in machine learning uh, and data science refers to the out of sample performance. So you have a set of training data uh, and on the training data, let's say there are two models, model one and model two, both are performing uh, equally well or the training error is the same for both. Then the one out of the two, M1 and M2, which has better out of sample performance or lesser out of sample error, sometimes known as the generalization error, that tends to be uh, defined as a better model. So for example, <clears throat> If this capacity is showing uh, the complexity of the model, which means the smaller the complexity, the more simpler the model is. If this axis is showing the complexity of the model and this is showing the error, then this whole zone, this whole zone refers to this left zone, whole zone refers to the zone where the model is too simple to capture even the, uh, even the training pattern. And in this right zone, the model is too complicated to actually generalize very well. So there inside, there is some uh, better complexity of the model, uh, which says that, uh, let's say in, at this particular case, the, um, the training error is small as well as the generalization error is small, so let's pick up this one. So if you have two models that have same training error, but one of them is better in generalization, uh, it has smaller generalization error, then better simply means the out of sample error. So we will pick that. So just to summarize, uh, this has this OCAMS razor, uh, particularly when applied in machine learning, it has it has all the consequences that we that we machine learning people actually try uh, try in their daily life. And one uh, kind of synonym that can be attached to OCAMS razor is overfitting. Or there are other names like bias and variance trade-off and stuff like these. So OCAMS razor says simpler is better and to avoid overfitting, that's exactly the principle how you will avoid overfitting in your data, which is uh, a big problem in for learning algorithms and machine learning. So um, I hope you have enjoyed our video. Uh, please uh, press the like button. Uh, subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends. Hope to see you next time.